Hey, what's going on guys? Today we'll be using the lather and wood bay rum to uh, complete a shave with. This is the actual crope here. Uh, if you watched my last video, that was the lather test. I bowl lathered and face lathered this. Um, when I face lathered it, I lathered directly from the puck. That's what I'll do today. Um, most soft soaps like cropes or or creams, I, I won't do that, but I don't know. I just, it worked very well yesterday. So um, I'm using my Maggard badger here. I'm gonna wring out the majority of the water to get a nice heavy load. And we'll get right to it. I have um, some information. Oh, uh, Linguafile said something like, like pinch the tips of, Technically, if you wanted to do that, you'd have to get something like that to kind of get them. But what's the fun in this? It's no fun. I'm going to lather like this. Um, Linguafile uh, sent this soap to me, by the way. So I appreciate that, Linguafile. And um, so lather and wood, I have some notes over here I'll be reading to you guys as I'm lathering and, and whatnot. Uh, Lather and Wood, they uh, sell soaps from their own website, and then they also sell them on Amazon. Um, from what I know, it's a company in Washington. I'll show you the label, and we'll go over the ingredients and stuff. But they're within, um, yeah, they're in Seattle, Washington. So, uh, with that being known, I hope, uh, I don't know exactly where they are, obviously, in Seattle, but I hope their business is unaffected by all the riots. And yes, they're, they are riots. Burning down a build, burning down buildings and destroying property has nothing to do with the protest. Anyways, um, so yeah, hopefully, hopefully this company is unaffected by all of that. All right, so that's a really, really good load. We're gonna go with that. I'm gonna rinse this off real quick. Perfect. All right, so let's go over some ingredients and some details of the soap as I'm lathering here. Wet my face. Okay. So, just off of the soap tin itself is where I'll be reading the ingredients. And you know, I wish some of the other manufacturers or some of the other artisans would do the same thing, kind of put um, their ingredients actually on the tubs. Um, I don't know, it just makes it easier for, for guys like me that review and not even just for that, but just for the average consumer that wants to see what it is without pulling it up on their phone or, or computer. So around the top here is the ingredient list. So it's stearic acid in this order. Stearic acid, water, tallow, coconut, oil, uh, potassium hydroxide, glycerin, shea butter, um, which gives it, you know, that slight post-shave feel. Uh, we have fragrance and sodium hydroxide. Yeah, potassium hydroxide, sodium hydroxide. So, those are the ingredients for the soap. As you heard, tallow is in this. So I believe all of these are tallow based. Um, and it's actually the third ingredient behind stearic acid and water. So, add a little bit more water to the tips here. As you saw in the lather, lather video, this stuff will lather like a champ. So, while I'm giving you information, I'll lather. Um, <clears throat> this is the Bay Rum scent. <sighs> um, as far as the strength, just straight off of the puck, I would say it has a mid strength. Um, probably about a five, five and a half, just off of the puck. Lathered, it only grows slightly, maybe six, you know. Um, five and a half to six, once lathered. So not on the extreme high end, which that actually may help pull in some new customers, because I know a lot of guys like Tim Shaves and a couple others that that just don't do well with heavily scented soaps. Um, their skin just doesn't handle it well, and uh, you know that's a real concern. And so I guess companies that don't have extremely heavy heavily scented soaps kind of clean up in that market, in that regard, so. All right, um, this is a 4.7 ounce tub, or not really tub, but tin. 
You can see that there. They also have that on their label, 4.7 ounces. Um, the label is very informative. It gives you where it's manufactured, manufactured for Lather & Wood, Shaving Co., Seattle, Washington, and gives you their website. Obviously, the ingredients are up there. Gives you the name of the company and the uh, scent. So, established in 2013 as well. So, as far as the label goes, beautiful. Gives you all the information you'd ever want. Um, and, yeah, I mean, it doesn't really give you the scent profile, I guess. Uh, but other than that, it gives you everything else you'd want. You know, scent profile being clove, uh, allspice, West Indies, but whatever, you know, whatever the actual scent is. But speaking of scent, that's the next uh, <laughs> order of business here. This is labeled as a bay rum scent. I get zero bay rum. I get zero clove. I get zero spice. I get zero... Um, Every other bay rum scent that I have, which is, you know, I'm not going to name them all, but Chisel Face, I have uh, um, Barrister and Man, I have um, the Penaud Clubman uh, 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 Aftershaves, I have the Katie's Bubbles, and a couple others. This, this bay rum smells absolutely nothing like any other bay rum. Just, it doesn't. Nothing like it. To me, and, and let me finish. To me, this is a barbershop scent. It is, an, it is a classic barbershop scent to me, to my nose. And I asked Lingual File because, um, like I said, he sent the soap and he actually had an extra one of these. All right, that's good for lather. We're good. Beautiful lather. Check it out. He had an extra one of these and I asked him to smell his obviously and asked if he you know got anything that resembled Bay Rum and he said he did not. Um, so I don't know if these specific soaps, I'm going to drain my sink here, were mislabeled. I don't know, you know, I don't have their barbershop scent to kind of compare. Um, but what I can tell you is that the one I have right here, this Bay Rum, it doesn't smell like Bay Rum. It's very pleasant. It's very nice. But it's not a Bay Rum scent. Uh, we'll be using the Gym Razor today. This is my, you can see, right there. I put a little, put a little mark. I want to see how many shaves I can get out of my uh, Gym Blade. This is the first one I used yesterday, or I guess the day before yesterday, in the first shave, and then this is the Gym Razor. So we'll do that, and we'll get the shave. And we have a lot more information to go over as far as. Uh, All right, so yeah, it's uh, you get 4.7 ounces. And regardless if you buy on Amazon or buy directly from their site, it is $16.99 per ounce. Now, I kind of, uh, it's not that I have an issue with the pricing. Um, for what the soap is, I have an issue with what it provides for the pricing. So I guess I do have an issue with the pricing. No, it's really not that bad. It's $3.61 an ounce. That's what it comes out to ounce wise. Now, you know, if you like something enough, it doesn't really matter what the price is. I completely understand that. Um, like I said in my latter video, This wasn't, this would have never been a soap that I would have gone out and just bought, even if I found it. Like, I had no idea who these, who these guys were or, or you know, this company was previous to me getting the soap. Um, but I would personally never actually go out and pick up the soap. And I'll tell you why. There's nothing spectacular as far as the ingredients. Yes, it has tallow. Yes, it has shea butter. Everything else is kind of standard. 
Um, you know, if you if you kind of look at the the scents from a top down perspective, as opposed to getting them and smelling them all, there's really no standout scents. They have a tobacco scent on their site. I'm going to get through the scents on all their sites, but um, which you could pick up on Amazon, sandalwood, bay rum, and barbershop. So as far as scent profile, they're really not out of this world as far as anything unique. Then we get into what they ship these things in. Now, 10, 10, it's not that, so I have two issues with 10. One, I'm OCD. I mean, I'm not diagnosed, I'm just, you know, I just like things to be organized and like things to be neat. And when I get my package and they're dinged up, brand new, I just have an issue with that, you know? And can, can lather and wood actually eliminate that from their end? Not really. You know, if they're shipping them out perfectly fine and, you know, the reseller or shipping, whoever that may be with, messes the tin up, can they, is it really their fault? Well, yes and no. Yes, because obviously they're shipping it out in tins, which can get damaged. But also, no, because they're not the one actually shipping it or handling it. So that's my first issue with tins. That's not the biggest one. The biggest gripe I have with tins is if you do what I just did, this is kind of partly why I did it. If you like to lather from your tub and you don't properly dry your tin out or your container out, guess what tin does? It rusts. Ooh, I told you something new. No, I didn't. <laughs> but no, seriously, you know, and I haven't had it happen to me. But go and read on forums on tins. When wet, <clears throat> when wet shaving first started to re to re uh, to to, to re uh, to reemerge, manufacturers were using tins, and the community just said, "No, stop, stop using tins. Start using plastic." You know, and they did, and the majority of people now use plastic. So, truthfully, a big step up would be to use plastic containers. Now, something else that I would prefer, which may not be possible, I don't know, is to keep the pricing the same, but use larger tubs. This is 4.7 ounces, you know, maybe give five ounces, you know, kind of like uh, PAA, you know, do, do a six or eight ounce tub and fill it up with five ounces of soap. You know, 4.7 ounces, is, it's close enough. Yeah, absolutely. But, you know, give us an even number. What's the, what's the 4.7? Does it signify something? Again, my OCD. All right. So, uh, yeah, the, the tin, you know, the denting, the rusting, I'm not a fan of. Um, and like I said, you know, the scent with Bay Rum, it's, <laughs> to me and to my nose, it is not a Bay Rum scent. Again, it's not a bad scent. That's not what I'm saying at all. It's a very pleasant scent. I like the scent. I do. But it's not a Bay Rum scent. <clears throat> um, so yeah, I don't know. Was there was there possibly a, a mislabel? I don't know. Is there really any way for me to know without getting another soap? If I were to get another soap, it wouldn't be... The, uh, it wouldn't be day rum. I would get barbershop since this smells like a barbershop sent to me. And if I were to receive the barbershop soap and it smelled like this, 
well then I know this one's mislabeled. But again, I have, other than buying a soap for 17 bucks, I have no way of knowing, you know, that scent profile. So, you know, at, at this price point, the competitors are, are numerous. Um, and that's kind of why I'm saying get a better uh, uh, price per ounce. Because at this price point, you're not dealing with just, you know, the, the small guys. You're dealing with the big guys. You're dealing with Ariana and Evans. You know, at 17 bucks for a tub. Now, <clears throat> um, Ariana and Evans only gives four ounces. But with the membership pricing... It's actually cheaper than this soap. So it comes out to very, very close. Um, and actually it's, well, it's a little cheaper actually. So when you have, when you have companies like that, that are competitive with companies like Lather and Wood, Lather and Wood has got to break because I guarantee you Ariana and Evans will not, you know, so you have to, you have to become more competitive. Not to mention Sterling. Sterling blows blows this soap out of the water as far as pricing. And very similar ingredients. And that's what I was saying earlier, you know. I would have never purchased this soap at this price point because when I look at the ingredients, there's nothing spectacular about them. <clears throat> you know, there's no scent to me that they provide that's unique. Um, now on their site, uh, let's see what they have. They have, um, they have a tobacco rose scent. Um, they also have, like I said, the, the sandalwood, the bay rum, the barber shop. And then there was something like, something cream, uh, mint cream or something cream on their site that was not on Amazon. On Amazon, Amazon only, uh, they only provide sandalwood bay rum and barbershop. Now, you know, why is it different from Amazon than their site? I don't know, but those are the only three that they provide on Amazon. They provide the tobacco, rose, And the mint cream or whatever it's something cream or uh, on their site now you know what do those smell like i don't know it's all the same base and that's really what matters to me is you know how does the base perform and like i said in the lather video and like like i'm saying here i have no issue with this base the base works the base is fine the base is exceptionally well during the shave it's the post shave that's not that great and it's the price point that i have that I, I truly have an issue with because you're dealing with other manufacturers that have cheaper pricing yet very very similar if not better performing soaps you know and that's kind of where i think lather and wood's gonna lose business My opinion, completely my opinion. But I'm sure that there are Amazon only shoppers as well. That a lot of these higher end guys don't sell on Amazon. And so, with that being said, you know, Lather and Wood would pick up that business. So maybe it evens out for them. I'm sure there's smart people running that company. And, uh, you know, who am I to tell them how to run a company? By the way, um, if you watched a lot of the video, you'll know this. But if you didn't, you cannot drown this soap. Um, huh. I've added copious amounts of water in three different test lathers. Um, obviously, the one that you guys saw on video, my last, my last video, you would have seen the test lathers. 
but also here I added a ton of water here you're not seeing any any breakdown of the actual soap itself it's just it's, it's a very it's a very well made soap but so is so are the other ones in the same price point and even cheaper so all right so we're just going to touch up here i do appreciate you guys watching i hope uh Hope everybody is safe and happy and sound. I am feeling this this blade tug. Mm -hmm. So maybe maybe my whiskers dull dull even this after the second pass. That's crazy. I thought since they'd be a little thicker. Maybe it would uh, it would last a little longer, but apparently that's not the case. Not the case at all. So yeah, about two shaves. <laughs> it's really not the blade's fault. It's my whiskers' fault. I don't I don't fault the blade at all. Um, like I showed you, these are the Persona. Where are they? Yeah, Persona gems. This pack, a hundred of them. Um, so I don't know if you guys can recommend something that may be a little sharper or maybe last a little longer. Um, I do like these blades though, because the two times I've used them, well, really this time is my second time. I don't really know how it's gonna, but it doesn't feel like it's irritating. What I was gonna say was I didn't get any irritation uh, my last shave with this. And I attribute that to the blade. Um, so as long as you can find, as long as your recommendation is not only maybe it'll last longer, be more durable, as long as it's not uh, like super sharp, or I'm gonna get a terrible reaction. My skin's gonna hate it. Mm, we are good, except for right here. So yeah, hope uh, the middle of the week's going well for you. Hope the beginning was good. And I hope the ending is better. <laughs> there we go. We're picking up a little bit. We're going up right here. Yeah, definitely tugging. Uh, this gym blade is, is, is surprisingly... Not that aggressive. It, it really surprised me the first time I used this blade. Not the razor itself, but the actual gym blade itself. The this, it surprised me that it's not like super aggressive. I thought it would be. Um, I don't know. I don't know why. I just thought it would be with the blade exposure. I mean, that's a lot of that's a lot of blade showing. So I don't know. I thought it would be. Like almost ripping my face off. <laughs> Alright, so all in all, that was a really nice shave. Um, I'm, I'm BBS. Um, absolutely no issue with the slickness or anything like that. I mentioned that in my last video. We're going with some thayers. So, like the soap's fine. The soap's on par with anything else as far as the shave goes. It's the pricing that I don't like, honestly. 17 bucks. And if you have Amazon Prime, I'm assuming it ships for free. But if you don't, and you order from their site, um, you have to purchase more than $30 to get free shipping. And that's two soaps. Um, you know, is it worth it? 
Yeah, not really. <laughs> um, would I go out and spend money on this? Uh, you know, the tobacco rose interests me. The scent interests me. Um, I wouldn't buy I wouldn't buy this soap if it were just any old scent, like if it were just the barbershop, um, sandalwood, bay rum. I wouldn't just go out and buy this. If it had an interesting scent, kind of like the whatever the cream one was and the tobacco rose, that interests me. Now, does it interest me enough to go and go and buy this soap? Um probably not. What's a good possibility though is I do want to check out their bombs. Lingo file told me to check those out because apparently they're pretty good. So what I may do if they provide those scents in the bombs, I may grab that. Um, but as far as the soap base, it's a standard towel soap base. Provides a great shave. Post shave, it's it's okay. It's like any other soap base that that's like bare minimum, you know, that has a couple butters. That's it. Um, for the average guy. Is it going to work? Absolutely. It'll work beautifully. Um, for the guy that's used to, I want to say higher end soaps, but not higher end in pricing, higher end in ingredients and quality. And that sounds bad because this is quality. Um, this They do have quality ingredients in this, but I'm talking like goat's milk, lanolin, that type of stuff um, that this does not provide. Um, while this pricing is the same as those that provide that, um, it, it, in my opinion, it, it just doesn't match up with the post shave feel. So that's where I'm digging it. Um, I, I wouldn't spend my own money on it. Um, you could try it out. Absolutely. Um, but yeah, anyways, that's the review for this shave soap. You can see that the Sicilian barber kind of struck. I definitely went way too hard on my neck here. Um, just overdid it. But anyways, that's, that's what I do. So <laughs> hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you next shave and, uh, yeah, have a good one.